Hello students, I welcome you all to quick solutions of AIATS3 code E and F for RM batch which was held on 15th of December 2019. So let's begin with the questions. Question number 136. Neurosecretory cells of hypothalamus produce all the following except Option number 1, somatostatin Number 2, somatocrinin Number 3, oxytocin And number 4, prolactin so the hypothalamus secretes releasing hormones and inhibiting hormones. Along with the releasing and inhibitory hormones, hypothalamus also secretes hormones which will be released later by the posterior pituitary that is vasopressin and oxytocin. Now here somatostatin is growth hormone inhibiting hormone which is secreted by hypothalamus. Somatocrine is growth hormone releasing hormone which is also secreted by the hypothalamus. Oxytocin is also secreted by the hypothalamus whereas prolactin is secreted by the anterior pituitary. So this is the incorrect option. So the correct answer becomes option number 4 that is prolactin. Let us see the next question students. Question 137. Several organs and tissues are not exclusively classified as endocrine glands but contain cells that secrete hormones. These include. So, let us see. Endocrine glands are the glands which purely secrete hormones. So, over here, Liver is not purely an endocrine gland as it also secretes bile. Pituitary gland is purely an endocrine gland which releases various hormones which have actions on different organs. Thyroid gland also releases thyroxine and calcitonin. So this also is purely an endocrine gland. Pineal gland is also purely an endocrine gland and it secretes melatonin. which is responsible for the maintenance of circadian rhythm. So over here, liver which secretes bile plus some hormones like insulin-like growth factor and angiotensinogen is not purely an endocrine gland. So the correct answer becomes option number one that is liver. Let us see the next question students. Question number 138. Select the secretion which is poured into interstitial fluid surrounding the secretory cells rather than into ducts. That is, here we are talking about endocrine secretions. These endocrine secretions are hormones which are secreted directly into the interstitial fluid which surrounds the cells. Let us see. Milk is not secreted in the interstitial fluid. It is carried by way of ducts to the nipple. So this is incorrect. Sweat also secreted by exocrine glands which have ducts. Melatonin which is secreted by the pineal gland is a hormone. So it is directly secreted into the interstitial fluid surrounding the cell. So this is correct. Sebum again it is a secretion of the sebaceous glands which is also carried by way of ducts. So this is also incorrect. So the correct answer becomes option number 3 that is melatonin. Let us proceed to the next question students. Question number 139. Gland considered as a major integrating link between the nervous and the endocrine system is. So here we have to find a link between the nervous and endocrine system. Let us see the options. Option number one, thyroid gland. Thyroid gland is purely an endocrine gland and it does not have any nervous component. So this is incorrect. Hypothalamus 
is the correct answer as hypothalamus is present at the base of diencephalon which is a part of the forebrain. The hypothalamus also secretes hormones. So this also is an endocrine structure. Therefore, hypothalamus becomes an integrating link between forebrain and the endocrine system. Let us see the next option, parathyroid gland. This is also incorrect as parathyroid glands are present on the dorsal surface of the thyroid gland and these are also purely endocrine in nature. Posterior pituitary gland is linked to the hypothalamus and is purely an endocrine gland as it releases hormones which have been produced by the hypothalamus. So the correct answer becomes hypothalamus that is option number 2. Let us see the next question students. Question number 140. Mechanism of action in broad terms is common for all given hormones except. Let us see the options. Estradiol, cortisol, epinephrine and thyroxine. Over here students, estradiol and cortisol, they are both steroid hormones and thyroxine is an iodothyronine. So these category of hormones are lipophilic that is they can easily cross the cell membrane and their receptors are present inside the cell. So, estradiol, cortisol and thyroxine, they all have intracellular receptors. Whereas, epinephrine is hydrophilic. Therefore, it cannot cross the cell membrane and its receptor is present on the surface of the cell membrane. Once epinephrine binds to its receptor, it forms the hormone receptor complex which generates a second messenger inside the cell which brings about the action. So, the correct answer for this question becomes option number 3. Let us see the next question students. 